It took a while. It took a while. But you're here, man. What's, what's the feeling like right now? Man, it's, you know, it's shit like Christmas right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, third time's a charm is what they say. You know, uh, first time I fucked up, I came back. You know, uh, I'm just showing that uh, just because you don't get denied the first or the second time, you can get it the third time. What was the mindset like coming there, man? I can see, like, for them to invite you back three times, I got to think that maybe they see something in you, but at the same time, it's like, how many times do I got to go through this before I get there? So what, what was going through your head you know, ahead of this? Uh, you know, my last fight, uh, it was it was real bloody, so I, I figured I was like, well, I gotta I gotta kill somebody this time. <laughs> you know? So that's what that was my mindset. You know, dude was ten and one, never been finished. Uh, so I figured I go ahead and put that on my resume, be the first person to finish him. Yeah, I, I had to get the nod. What what, what did you feel in there? I, mean, I gotta imagine you're not used to fighting guys that are bigger than you. I mean, was that was that odd for you? Yeah, it was different. I felt my punches coming a little short, so I had to take an extra step, you know, and that's causing my leg to get chewed up a little bit, but it's cool, you know. I got I got the job done, so that's all that matter. Yeah, I mean, clearly, you know, you didn't want to be on the ground with them, but he showed some, some take down the fence. He showed some ability to get back up when he did have takedowns. I mean, was that, that were you priming yourself in some ways another year to show that stuff? Yeah, you know, it's going to take more than jiu-jitsu to beat me. You know, uh, you're gonna have to have the wrestler, and you're gonna have to have some good hands. So uh, I didn't, I didn't feel threatened by the hands or the wrestling game. So I just figured I'd step a few jujitsu takedowns, and I'd be good. Nice. And were you aware of the clock? I mean, you got it done with one second left. Were you aware yeah. how close it was? Yeah, I heard it. I heard the. I didn't want to rush it. You know, I wanted to get the finish in the first round. That was the goal, but I didn't want to rush it. So I heard it. I heard it click, and I was like, time to go. You know. Uh, I guess it, you know it's heartbreak, you know, uh, especially when they sign everybody but you, and you felt like you did enough. But I, I understood because the first time I didn't get the job done, the second time I did, I was one, one, uh, uh, I broke even. So now it's time when they brought me back. I knew that uh, if I got the job done, you know, they couldn't couldn't deny me again. On those other couple times, did they like, speak to you afterward and say, hey, if you work on this part of your game, that part of your game? And no, nah, I just no, nah, just me talking to my coaches and uh, coming up what I need to work on. Uh, first time was cardio, second time was uh, uh, me just staying patient and not rushing it. So uh, the third time, the charm. What went through your head this time as you're sitting there? Uh, sh <laughs> man, please pick me, please. <laughs> what's the ideal scenario for you now? You got a date picked out or an opponent picked out or? What's well, I didn't take any damage, so I want, I'm trying to get in there as soon as possible. I'll fight whoever. I want to be the first person from the contender series to get to the belt. So uh, I'm not turning down any matchups. Uh, whoever wants to smoke, it is what it is. Dante, talk about the time off before this fight. Uh, was it, was it a, a hard thing or was it an easy thing? Because you knew what you had to focus on. You obviously came in a much better shape. What was that like coming in here off the road? Was that time off? Oh. Uh, I did, uh, I took I took time off though because I broke my hand in my last fight, okay. so I took more uh, time off just to heal up and then uh, then get get back to work. But other than that, I would have fought again if I never broke my hand. So. Dante, in your uh, pre-fight promo, you were talking about being two and one, and getting your contract. Can you talk about just what this moment means for you and your family? Oh. Uh, this moment, it, it mean everything to me and my family, you know, uh, in the whole city. I'm, I'm the first person from Louisville, Kentucky, to get a contract for the UFC. So, uh, and for my family, I can, now now I got a bigger revenue, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to do uh, uh, dead-end jobs and stuff to do, do what I was doing to make ends meet. Now, now I'm good. Has to be special for Kentucky and the Mac. Yeah, most definitely. Kentucky and Southern Indiana, you shut that out too, you know. Well, of course, Louisville is known for Muhammad Ali. How, how are the local uh, folks there treating you like uh, as an MMA star? Because I know MMA is still, you know, in the growing stages. But yeah, everybody, everybody, they want me to box back home. You know, I tell them MMA is what I do. You know, that's 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 my passion. 
you know, I like boxing too, you know, but uh, everybody back home, they, would, they just want me to box. I'm like, what do MMA for? It? And, and box. I'm good on it. You're looking to convert some Yeah, yeah, most definitely.